I mean, voices are the easiest ones because all you have to do is stimulate uh, stimulate the cochlea with a, a set resonant frequency. It's very easy. Uh, voices are very easy. Uh, different reasons for blanketing an area uh, and watching people. Uh, and 98% of the population probably will not be affected. But it is the fact that you have no choice. And if, if you upset somebody in the government, uh, they can abuse their authority and target you. 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, we've been developing microwave weapons right up to today, and they are incredibly sophisticated today. So if any government says that microwaves have no effect on you, the question is why have you been spending billions upon billions of dollars with the military for the last 60 years improving them? Voice goes no further 
than an inch into your ear. No further at all. Uh, it's the electrical signal that makes you interpret how I sound. And once you've got this electrical signal, which can be a chip or a, a, lots of things, you can physically make people hear voices, certain voices. Uh, and it can be it, any conversation. Um, and it, it can be anybody you want to hear. It can be a soft, angel, and angelic voice. It can be a god. Uh, it could be something that scares you like a devil. Tumors are quite quite enormous now in, in terms of numbers. That uh, I read a report, and I read this out in Canada last year. Um, people are so worried about the numbers of brain tumors that they've re-diagnosed 10,000 brain tumors as endocrine cancers to take them off the statistics hint that I believe that this industry and the part of the government which is encouraging them will be responsible for more civilian deaths and suffering than all the terrorist groups in the world ever. Uh, people are probably going to cause more death and suffering than the entire Second World War. People know my background from uh, yesterday's speech, but I, my real specialty is artificial intelligence and robotics and um, redefining what human beings will be in the future. And a lot of people find out my own free will. There's no way you can get to my soul. Well, sorry, that's not true. Um, so these nanoparticles are activated under certain magnetic frequency and will alter the brain patterns and pathways. Uh, recently, my school came out, Harvard came out with uh, what you see here on the right slide is a magnified view of a needle that's injected into the brain and puts the scaffolding over the brain and then it's read that way at a f much finer resolution. So let's talk about a little bit um, um, about deciphering the audio and visual cortex. Uh, so researchers at the University of California, Berkeley have invented a brain decoder device that's able to work out what you're thinking based on neural activity inside of the brain. Now they use mostly what's called functional MRIs. Um, Some of my uh, targeted individuals that are in my group, um, they are specifically targeted to test this phenomena. Um, they are, um, say, one in Pune with Makran, um, one in uh, another part of Maharashtra, which is Bukhari, and the, um, another one in Bangalore, um, a few, few in Bangalore. They are all being targeted. Just um, they are sleep deprived, and they are talked into their brain while they were sleeping. They are woken up, and then they talk. They don't necessarily use their mouth to talk, but their thought process, their brain patterns, are being uh, interrogated by these people who are somewhere in the planet, um, you know, sitting in, as a supervisor or as an operator or as an associate and interrogate these people and then see what kind of answers they get in the sense how their brain is thinking. So this is what they're studying. And for that study, uh, the, the, all my friends are being the um, targets. But uh, you could use any of these technologies that I've talked about. If you're reading text in a newspaper or book, you hear a voice in your own head. Usually, most people are reading kind of aloud in their own head. Well, they can read that, decipher the words that you were thinking to yourself. So there's uh, another one, uh, University of LA, maybe Stanford University. They are decoding visual images. So they train the person under a functional MRI, that's the standard technique, to look at images 
and then they record them. And, and telepathy, electronic two-way communication. Well, we have that now. And that's very scary if you don't, if you never experience it. Um, making hum humanity think an alien invasion is about to occur at every major city. Well, we have holograms in the sky. I described that technology. Um, and, you know, they, they talked about other things uh, that might make this come about. But all I am saying is beware. Yeah, can you elaborate on hyper game theory and so-called walking people to their death? <laughs> okay. Yeah, and so hyper game theory came out of a, a professor at Dartmouth, I would say, funded by the Air Force and DARPA and et cetera, all the, all the acronyms. And um, it came from a man that died recently, a brilliant man named John Nash, um, who there was a similar process. Hyper game theory is a, a one level above of, a, of that abstraction, but you don't know what game they're going to play. So they use it in cyber warfare, uh, mostly. And attackers, you know, hackers, they'll use several different techniques, but the defenses, the administrator, and the virus protection, protection they don't know what game these hackers are using. So they create a probability matrix over the period of time of sampling all the different kinds of hacks they get. Now you can apply this to other aspects of life. The way that I was using it is they're trying to, have to it's called mind hacking. So they're trying to hack a targeted individual and you know, the target individual will create mental defenses as best as they can. They'll go to their social networks. Trade well, what do they do? They try to disrupt the social network so you have no family or friends. They, and it's a, a back and forth game that uh, they're trying to find out the maximum probability of death and the example that you use where you'll commit suicide or or you're, you'll harm somebody, become a Manchurian candidate, or something like that. So it's huge, huge database probabilities across all the variations of mind. You know, the, the human genome, I think we have, oh, I'm going to get this wrong, so I'm not even going to say it, but a finite in the hundreds of thousands of different genes across our species. Um, and we map them out in the human gene project. Can you tell us what the name of project in the military as it was being developed was and how much we spent on it? Oh, no. I, I wasn't interested in budgets right. or, or names. The name but the, the nickname was Voice of God. Um, but it goes under a, a lot of different names, um, different variations. And so let me talk about some of the technology. Um, it's called, one is called the microwave hearing effect which uh, with directed microwaves, uh, this was discovered by a guy named Frey, uh, well, and they, they're not totally sure what the mechanism is, but they hypothesize that the brain expands ever so slightly with this energy, heat energy, that gets conducted to the inner ear. Um, there are several other technologies that use ion to the inner ear. Um, there are several other technologies that use ion cyclotron resonance heating and calcium C2 plus uh, as a mechanism of influencing the nervous system. And all the ions have their different resonances under the Earth's magnetic fields. And, um, there, and then you can go into the uh, ultrasonic uh, realm where anybody in the beam with one of the ultrasound waves won't hear anything it's above human hearing, but where the waves intersect from two different directional sources, all of a sudden that person hears it, and that's called the audio spotlight. So there are a lot of mechanisms to project voices into people's heads. Yeah. Thank you. That relates to step three and project breathing. Um, it concerns telepathic um, electronic two way communication. Um, I wondered if it was possible for um, images um, to be directed into yeah. the thoughts and the minds. Um, 
Yeah, in fact, all five senses can be mildly overrided depending on the state. Now, if you're in the sensory deprivation tank, your mind seeks stimulus, you know, hearing, sight, temperature, anything. Um, so if you're in that situation, your dreams become your reality. Your brain cannot tell the difference. But in other circumstances, if you stay well stimulated, um, it's difficult to project visual images into the target, but uh, even the university professors are working on this. Um, so yes, it's absolutely possible and is being done. And in fact, many people complain about uh, uh, forced dreams or, or something like that, that their dreams are not their own. And you know, that can be, there are a whole bunch of subconscious ways that can be done as well as stimulating the visual cortex and the right patterns. And, try to project them into the target, yeah. So, um, who would you... A friend on Facebook, you know, and how often you talk to them. I, you, you can't shake their hand, you can't hug them, I, you know. I I don't know, this is something society is going to have to deal with. This is a social revolution. It's occurring right now at a very rapid rate. I call it a cosmic evolutionary event in mankind. Yeah. It's, and also, um, we, it seems we do have a malevolent elite in this world. Um, the potential for uh, the, the potential danger here is enormous. It is, and I think there may be an agenda to depopulate the world. Oh, I think there is. Yeah. Well, um, ladies and gentlemen. Um My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. It's July 6, 2018, 12, but I had to update it and uh, really go through with a fine tooth comb. So, what are people cookers? Blinding lasers and infrasound heart attacks. Um, these are some serious freaking weaponry. This is what World War III is going to look like. I hope that you'll check out my previous articles on um, directed energy weapons on the battlefield, the new vision for 2025, and also used to you know, shut up people like Occupy Wall Street, and they've been used in Ferguson, many different places, many of these hailing devices, and what they do is they fire, you know, electricity at you, and it is painful to your ears, to your skin, makes you run. There's the active denial system, one and two. I showed that a little bit earlier. These are all from a FOIA, LRAD, and a laser, all in one. Boy, that's got to hurt. Nanosecond electrical pulses disable individuals. Now we're getting a little more serious. Force protection crowd control. Coming to uh, occupy whatever near you. Coming to uh, occupy whatever near you. The ability to microwave an entire crowd. Detainee operations, patrol convoy, building clearing, and other offensive and defensive operations. Has electromuscular incapacitation, the loss of voluntary muscular control by electrical stimulation. Whoa. And of course, we've all heard of tasers. Tasers are, you know, not something new, but they're getting pretty powerful. Basically, they've been able to make tasers that are practically lightning bolts over long distances. Now this
this is one you probably haven't heard. इधर आपको ये इंफ्रासाउंड एंड लो फ्रीक्वेंसी वेव ऑडियो हाई ऑडियो से क्या क्या होगा वो दिखा रहे हैं सम ऑफ दीज अरेस्टिवर फंक्शन ऑफ यूर ऑर्गन्स और यू नो डैमेज यूर ऑर्गन्स सो दीज आर वेरी यम दीज आर सर्टन फ्रीक्वेंसी चोजन टू हर्ट यूर बॉडी इधर देखिएगा वेरी हाई ऑडियो अल्ट्रासाउंड इट विल मेक यू थिकलिंग इन द माउथ एक्सेट्रा सो दीज आर द ए ट्रिक्स हमारे ऊपर ये लोग चलाते रहते हैं उनके लिए तो सिंपली एक गन काइट यू नो द वो जो बनाने वाले हैं वो कहीं बैठे हैं कहीं डिफरेंट कंट्री में और यहाँ जो परपेटेटर लोकल आदमियों जो होते हैं उनके यहाँ एयर गन होता है अब उसको चालू करने से पर्टिकुलर एप्लीकेशन से तो हमें सर्टन टाइप ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी का वो हमें किरणे आते हैं तो वो किरणे आते से हमें इधर टिकलिंग होगा इधर बाइट होगा इधर हमारे स्किन के स्किन थ्रू करके उधर हर्ट होगा और हमारा यू नो साफ कट करेंगे लेकिन आउटसाइड का जो नेक है वो वैसे के वैसे ही रहेगा तो ऐसे वाले चीजें ये लोग हमें करते रहते हैं ये लोग कई फ्रीक्वेंसी का वेव से किसी का ऑर्गन कंट्रोल खो जाते हैं लाइक एग्जांपल के लिए हमारे जो यूरिनेट करना होता है हम मैं जब जाती हूँ तो वो फटाक से एक कर लेते हैं तो कंट्रोल लूज हो जाता है वैसे भी और नंबर टू का भी डेफिकेशन भी ये ये लोग इसके इससे ओर से मुझे कराते हैं जब मैं बाहर रहती हूँ तो मुझे एनर्जी का थप्पड़ देते हैं मतलब मुझे नहीं लगता है लेकिन मेरा बॉडी वॉल बॉडी कंट्रोल छोड़ के मैं गिर जाती हूँ या नहीं तो आगे चल पड़ती हूँ नहीं तो साइड से हमें गिरा देते हैं ये सारे हमसे हो जाता है ये सारे केपेबिलिटीज इनके पास है ये रहा नर्वस सिस्टम मनिपुलेशन यही है मेथड टाइप ऑफ जो टॉर्चर बोल रही थी ना ये वाला है हमारे ब्रेन हमारा हाथ पाव हमसे नहीं सुनते उन लोगों ने सुना के हमारा हाथ पाव टेढ़ा गेढ़ा ये लोग कर देते हैं हमारे कंट्रोल बिना और जब वो करते हैं विथ इन सेकेंड वो कर जाते हैं तो ये पढ़ी ये हार्वर्ड यू नो ग्रेजुएट ने सारा इनिशियली यू नो डिस्कवर किया है तो एट दी एंड में देखिए वो आदमी बोल रहा है कि आ, कि मुझे इधर सॉरी एपोलॉजी पूछ रहा है कि मैंने ये ह्यूमन काइंड को ये मैंने टायर नहीं किया गया है उसका इंटेंशन ऐसा नहीं था ये डारपा जो है ये प्रोजेक्ट जो है वो इसका गलत इस्तेमाल कर रही है इधर देखिए एच ए ए आर पी इस अरोरल प्रोग्राम जहाँ वेदर ऑल्टर कर सकते है कहीं यू नो रेन करते हैं कहीं रेन को स्टॉप कर देते हैं ऑल um, जो भी वो क्लाउड से उनको इकट्ठे करना कहीं एक पे जगह में वो लोग इकट्ठे कर सकते हैं जैसे हमें महाभारत में यू नो अर्जुन और यू नो दुर्योधन जो वो मंत्र लेके बांध से यू नो वो लोग बरसात करते थे अग्नि का ये कराते ये सारे करते थे ये ऐसा वाले ये आइटम्स है और महाभारत टाइम में धर्म था तो उसी टाइम पे यूज किए थे अननेसेसरी नहीं चले थे लेकिन आजकल का लोग के पास ये जो टेक्नोलॉजी आया है ये लोग के पास धर्म नहीं है आ, इन लोगों का धर्म अलग ही है तो इसीलिए ये बहुत डेंजरस है सो so, ए पिक्चर में देखिएगा तो कोई आदमी इस घर में जो टारगेटेड इंडिविजुअल इस घर में जहाँ आके सोए हैं तो नेबर हाउस में ये इंस्ट्रूमेंट लगा के उसकी ओर ये वेव चला जाते हैं नहीं तो ये अनदर वैन लेके चलते हैं कहीं नेक्स्ट स्ट्रीट में दूसरे स्ट्रीट में जाके उधर से इसको टारगेट करते हैं इधर के इसको टारगेट करते हैं तो ऐसे मेनी एंगल से इस आदमी को टारगेटेड इंडिविजुअल को वो लोग अटैक करते रहते हैं ये हमारे साथ एवरी होता रहता है इस आदमी को ये दिखा रहा है कि जो जहाँ रेड एरो गया है इसका एक चीक बोन को ऊपर उठाया गया है मेरा ऐसा चीक बोन को भी एक साइड का ही उठाया गया है 
और मेरा जो जॉ का जो है जहाँ टीथ बैठते हैं उस होल सेट को जॉ बोन को मुझे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट किया गया है मेरा टीथ बहुत सारे इकट्ठे आके एक दूसरे के ऊपर चला रहे हैं इससे ये हो जाता है कि आ, मैं जैसे बूढ़ी जैसे दिखती हूँ और अभी ठीक है तो थोड़ा इतना तक तो रुक गया है आ, आगे ये जाके आ, बहुत बुरा हो जाएगा मेरा यू नो जॉ मेरा फेस सारे डिस्फिगर कर रहे हैं ये रहा अनदर वेपन देखिए ये बेंगलोर का एक आर्टिकल है तो ये प्रपोजल टू सेल द पेन बीम वेपन टू इंडियन गवर्नमेंट तो इंडियन गवर्नमेंट को ये नया कुछ नहीं है इधर देखिए इंडिया टू टेस्ट स्टार वार वेपन ऑन कश्मीरी प्रोटेस्टर्स तो इन लोगों के पास हमारे गवर्नमेंट के पास हमारे मिलिट्रियों के पास इसका एक्सपोजर है ये क्या करते हैं क्या नहीं करते इनको पता है ये कहीं और बाय कर रहे हैं किससे बाय कर रहे हैं और उन लोगों का क्या इरादा है इसके साथ साथ आम, यू नो अंडर कवर क्या क्या जुड़े हुए आते और उनको लेके हमारे ही पीपल को ये लोग क्या करते ये हमारे गवर्नमेंट को इतना पता नहीं है दिस इज अ साउंड तद हमें हियर हो जाता है हमारे ईयर में माइक्रोवेव अदर ऐसे एंगल से coming from an internal source this is a sound in people's ears coming from an external source and it can be brought down active into the human speech range to show voices 100% fact if it's not dekhiye sound kaisa ho jata hai साइंटिस्ट हु डिजाइंड वेदर मॉडिफिकेशन कन्फर्म्स एवरीथिंग ए आर्टिकल आपको जाके देखना पड़ेगा some of their doings i was told by the japanese security police that because of what i had said on places like rents.com that niigata city was going to be hit by an earthquake two days later japan's largest nuclear reactor was the exact epicenter of two earthquakes both 6.8 in magnitude Japan just had a very very friendly summit meeting with China where the emperor met the Chinese leader three times there is a possibility to be created a huge quake triggers chaos as people flee swaying buildings and city fires a deliberate process for tesla keep every intention and goal fully formed before he and his crew lifted a finger but there were times when he stumbled upon a new discovery by mistake tesla performed his first experiments with resonance technology at his new york laboratory by firing up a small oscillator which caused a minor amount of vibration suddenly an alarmed squad of police officers stormed into the lab demanding that tesla stop at once man happened तो लो फ्रीक्वेंसी से हम अर्थक्वेक इनिशिएट कर सकते हैं 